What's this? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Toupee. Must belong to the corpse. We got bits and pieces of a sheet. The guy was probably gift wrapped before Indiana Jones here got to him. Corpse got a name? How about Uncle Fester? There's no meat on the hands. I guess the teeth are gonna have to tell, huh? Jaws are empty. Shattered bones around the sockets. Teeth must have been knocked out. Nice touch. What's left of a blue blazer? Cashmere. Nothing like going in style, huh? No labels. Gold buttons. Hey, it looks like a griffin. A what? There's one on my family crest. Seen enough? Yeah. Okay, let's pack up Mr. Bones and bring him back to the office. Yes, that's one of the buttons. I'm allergic to cashmere, but I gave the buttons to my father. How long had he been missing? Since 84. He was murdered. I'm sure you read about it. Sidney Cohen. There's a big trial. They put the son of a bitch away for life. Yeah, the Wall Street whiz kid. Uh, killed your father over some real estate thing. What was his name? Philip Swan. They convicted him without the body. That's how guilty he was. Was he where they said? In Patterson? No, he was buried next to some building on Roosevelt Island. That can't be him. They had a witness at the trial who testified that he helped bury my dad in New Jersey. You go back, re-examine any case. There's gonna be lies and inconsistencies and contradictions. Justice isn't perfect, but the bottom line is Swan was guilty. How can you be so absolutely sure if Bobbitt was your principal witness against Swan? Oh, but I didn't make my case on uh, accomplice testimony alone. There was other evidence. Swan bragged about that murder to half the people he knew. You made the case without the body. Let us remember that the jury convicted on the basis of Russell Bobbitt's testimony. And he may have perjured himself. I could have made my case without Bobbitt. Yes, but you didn't. Is there even a possibility Swan's innocent? I know Philip Swan. He smiled through the entire Q&A. He was guilty then, he's guilty now. Have Russell Bobbitt picked up. At the very least, you may have a perjury charge. Hey, Michelangelo. Russell Bobbitt. Yeah. What's this about? It's about coming downtown. I don't care if they found the body on the moon. I know where we put him eight years ago. But you couldn't lead us to the exact spot. Swan was driving, not me. Look, I helped you all I could. Read the testimony. Everything I know is in there. You claim Swan slit Cohen's throat. We know he died of a gunshot to the head. That's what Swan told me. He was wrapped in a sheet. I never saw him. This is exactly the kind of stuff Philip likes to pull, like knocking out Cohen's teeth so he couldn't be identified. Swan's very mental. He might also be innocent. <laughs> so now he's got you going. I wouldn't be surprised if he planned it that way. He probably moved the body the next day. Stone here. Yeah, we'll get on it. I've been served notice. Swan is contesting the conviction on the grounds of newly discovered evidence. Russell Baba's testimony can be easily supported by the evidence. Yeah, well, we can be thankful that Swan is arrogant enough to represent himself. He dug himself out of prison, got himself to a new trial. Merely writing briefs is one thing. Rough and tumble of a court trial will set him back on his heels. Ben, uh, Russell Bob is gone. He put a one-way ticket to the Bahamas on his charge card and disappeared. I didn't kill Sid Cohen. I'm a businessman. I knew if everyone just sat still, everything would be OK. I possibly extended that panic, drove someone to kill Sid Cohen, Possibly there were other deals with other individuals. Objection, Your Honor. Conjecture. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Bottom line is, Sid Cohen may be dead now. But I swear, he was alive and getting a suntan in Barbados when I was first convicted of killing him. Cross-examination, Mr. Stone. Mr. Swan, do you routinely list killing people as part of your daily calendar? Mr. Stone, do you routinely lack a sense of humor? About murder, I have none, sir. 
Eight years. 96 months. 2,920 days. Now that is how much time I've spent in prison for killing a man the state didn't even know was dead until a few months ago. Now first, they convicted me of cutting Sid Cohn's throat, and he was in fact killed by a bullet in the brain. They claimed I buried him in New Jersey. He was found on Roosevelt Island. And what do they offer for proof? Perjured testimony. Now, in the real world, the community sleeps better if somebody is put in jail. And in the real world, prosecutors get promoted if they get convictions. And in the real world, the world assumes that if you're charged, you must be guilty. Now, it's assumptions like that that took away my life. So let me have what's left of it. Don't be seduced. Beware of that man. Behind the smiles and the jokes is the monster that put a bullet in Sid Cohen's brain. Will the defendant please rise? On the sole count of the indictment, murder in the second degree, how do you find? We find the defendant not guilty, Your Honor. So he represented me. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? If it was part of a scheme to defraud the courts, uh, you'd be better off in China. What, you gonna tack on a couple of years because I told the truth in court? You conveniently forgot to tell us about your prior perjury. You didn't ask. I'm sure Mr. Swan did. It makes a difference? Look, the guy's out of here and there's nothing you can do. To either of us. That's where you're wrong, Mr. Doyle. I will see you at your parole hearing next month. And the month after that, and the month after that. What do you want from me? Where is Russell Bobbitt? What do you mean? I had nothing to do with that. He's dead. You get nothing until you do something for me. Russell Bobbitt. What about my parole? Accessory to murder, Mr. Doyle. Russell Bobbitt. George Mislansky. I heard Swan call it a marker. Couldn't just leave him by the side of the road. Swan said he wanted it done a certain way. He was particular about it. You like he was going to check up on me? Something's worth doing. It's worth doing right. We're looking for Philip Swan. Sure. Phil, some guys to see you? He's hooking up the CD. Cops? Philip Swan, you're under arrest for the murder of Russell Barber. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be used against you. 